Um, welcome back folks in today's class I will be talking about the inverse of the matrix uh, so pretty much from where we left over in the last video that's where we're gonna start talking about in this video so inverse inverse of uh, matrix matrix that's what I'm gonna talk about in, in today's class so if let's say you are given a matrix A which is equal to 2 then this is 4 this is minus 3 and then uh, minus 7. I wanted to find the inverse of this matrix. How can I find the inverse? That's what we will see. So, uh, first of all, I will find out the determinant of a matrix. So, how do you find out the determinant of a matrix? So, I'm going to put them in this format rather than in the bracket format. I'll put it in the state absolute symbols. So, this is 2 and this is 4 and this is minus 3 and this one is minus 7. So, how to find the determinant of a matrix? So this 2 will multiply by this uh, minus 7. So 2 multiplied by minus 7. And then uh, other one will be minus minus uh, the this one my 4 times minus 3. Because this already has a minus. So I will put that minus down here. So 2 times 7. This is minus 14. And this will be minus uh, this will be minus 12. And then I will do the math. Minus 14 plus 12 which gonna give me answer as minus 2 so this is a determinant of 2 by 2 matrix we will learn also about how to find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix which is a little complicated but that i will do it in uh, other video so right now we are just uh, finding the simply we're learning how to find the inverse of a matrix uh, so we figured out the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix uh, now uh, I wanted to, as I said, I wanted to find the inverse of a matrix. So, uh, what we're going to do is we will uh, try and flip the term. So, this 2 will uh, change its position, change its position with this minus 7. So, this will become, this will become, this will become minus 7 on top here. And then 2 will go down here. So, the diagonal matrix, these two matrix will change the position only diagonal matrix in the identity form this this they will change their position they will swap their position in 2 by 2 matrix and then uh, in this one the leftovers what we're gonna do is we will just multiply these two with the negative sign so negative 3 multiplied by a negative sign gonna give me a positive 3 and 4 multiplied with the negative sign is gonna give me a minus 4 now I will just multiply by uh, uh, 1 over determinant 1 over 2 so why this is 1 over minus 2 because this is uh, this 2 belongs to this uh, uh, this is this is the uh, determinant which we figured out so minus 2 so 1 over whatever the determinant value that value I will multiply it with now here is one more thing I want to tell you if you are given a matrix let's say uh, 2 3 4 7 I multiplied by just a random number with the two scalar quantity so this will multiply with this this will multiply here this will multiply here this will multiply here so this will multiply itself to all the terms so same way I'll multiply this with here 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 and here too so this is going to become minus 7 over minus 2 3 over minus 2 this will become minus 4 over minus 2 and this is 2 over my <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys sorry sorry my apologies, my apologies. so for uh, 2 over minus 2 so that's going to become uh, 7 over 2 this will be a positive number and this is minus 3 over 2 2 over 3 over minus 2 can be written as minus 3 over 2 okay now the next will be you could cancel these two and then this is going to give me 2 here and this is going to give me minus 1 down here so we got the identity uh, inverse of a matrix so a inverse value will be equal to 7 over 2 and this is down here 2 and this is minus 3 over 2 and this is minus 1 that is a inverse and uh, in the previous lecture we also said that a times a times a inverse that's going to give me identity matrix now let's prove it also whether whatever we said is right or not so the matrix given to me was uh, this one so 2 4 minus 3 and minus 7 so 2 4 
2, 4, minus 3, and minus 7. And then here I got an inverse matrix which is equal to 7 over 2, minus 3 over 2, and 2 minus 1. Again, I'm going to do the test 2 by 2 matrix, 2 by 2 matrix. So these two will cancel out. These two will prevail. So my final matrix will be 2 by 2, these, these two. Okay, that will, yes, so it, we kind of get a final answer of 2 by 2 matrix. Now let's see uh, whether, what's the value we're going to get. So this 2, this, you will multiply this 2 with this number. And uh, so this is this 2 with this number and minus 3 with this number. So this goes with this and then same way this whole thing, this whole thing one more time goes with this also. So let's write it 2 times 7 over 2 and minus, well here I'll place a plus then minus 3 times 2. That will be a number here. And then I will write 2 times uh, 2 times uh, 2 times 7 over 2 uh, this this whole thing well, what is happening to my pen or marker shall I say uh, so this 2 times 7 over 2 uh, well, we've done this one so this will go with this now 2 times minus 3 over 2 and uh, then plus minus 3 times minus, well, this is minus 3 times minus 1. Okay, this is the second number. Now, this one, 4 times 7 over 2, and then plus minus 7 times 2. Okay, and then down here, it will, it will be, 4 times minus 3 over 2 and plus minus 7 times minus 1. That will be the final number. Alright, so let's see whether we done the correct math or not. So this cancels out and then 7 minus 6, 7 minus 6 here and down here this cancels out. This will be minus 3 plus 3 because this is going to become a plus 3 and then down here it will be again this will be 14 minus 14 and down here it will be 3 times 2 is this is minus 6 and this will be plus 7 so I think we did it right this will be 1 this will be 1 0 0 so if you multiply the inverse of a matrix with a given matrix you will get the identity matrix. Hence, we proved this thing also. So hopefully in this uh, video, you were able to learn how we can uh, find out the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. That's what we've done uh, by now. Only we uh, figured out the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, in the next video, I will try and teach you how you can identify the uh, determinant and the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. Till then, goodbye.